Hey guys, it's Mr. Cram. In class, I know you guys are working on reading stories and figuring out what the main topic is in those stories, what the big idea is. And then you're also pulling out important parts. You're pulling out key details that kind of show what the big idea is. And today, what I thought we could do is actually read a story together, and then I'm going to try and do everything I just talked about. I'm going to try and pull out the big idea from the story, the main topic. And then I want to pull out three important parts that kind of show that topic. So, all right. I realize I need my reading jacket if I'm going to do this right, so just give me one second, all right? Hey, okay. Got my reading jacket on. Now, the story we're going to look at today is called uh, Groovy Joe, Ice Cream and Dinosaurs. I think this is already going to be an interesting book. Now, check this out. Get the ice cream here. Got the dinosaur. The dinosaur's looking at the ice cream, and then the dinosaur's kind of like licking his lips, his dinosaur lips. He's hungry, I can tell. And uh, I guess that's Groovy Joe. All right, let's figure this out. Title page. This is kind of neat. This one's actually signed by the author. That's kind of special. Groovy Joe, Ice Cream, and Dinosaurs. Okay. Groovy Joe saw something yummy. Hagen dogs doggy ice cream. Groovy Joe started rubbing his tummy. Groovy Joe was living the dream. He had a spoon and a tub of ice cream. And he started to sing. I love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Man, he must be really happy. Roar! Oh no. A little dinosaur stomped into the room. He glared at the ice cream and took out a... Uh-oh, look. I can tell Joe's a little bit scared from the look on his face. And he looks a little bit angry. A little squirrel there. I don't know what the squirrel's thinking. Hmm. Took out a what? Took out a... Ah! Spoon! Now the dinosaur looks happy. I think he wants to eat. He put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? What did he say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang, Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Okay. Roar! Oh no. A big dinosaur burst into the room. He glared at the ice cream and took out a spoon. He put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? I don't know. Joe looks kind of worried there, like he doesn't know what to do. I don't think I'd know what to do if a dinosaur burst into my house. What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. Oh, look. Joe's giving us some ice cream. That's great. And everyone sang, Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. I think it's funny that dinosaurs like doggy ice cream. Must be pretty good stuff. Roar! I think it's the biggest roar we've seen yet. Oh no, a huge dinosaur smashed into the room. She glared at the ice cream and took out a... Spoon? She put on a bib. She pulled up a chair. What did Joe say? Joe keeps sharing, so I predict he's going to share again. He said, it's awesome to share. I was right. And everyone sang, love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh no, the tub was empty. The ice cream was through, so the dinosaurs glared. You know who. What did Joe do? He's got ugly dinosaurs looking at him and he just ran out of food. He turned over the tub and made it into a drum. 
Groovy Joe beat out a rum tum tum tum. Oh, that's kind of smart. The dinosaurs laughed. They rose from their chairs. They started to dance. They jumped in the air. Then what did they say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang together. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh, that's the end. Okay, that was kind of fun. I like that there were dogs and dinosaurs and a squirrel in a book together. Now the question is, what's the main topic of that book? Like, what's the big idea? I think they said it over and over again. All right, I'm gonna take a second. I want you to say it out loud, and then I'm gonna say mine out loud, and then let's see if they kind of match. All right, go ahead. Did you say the main topic? All right, here's my idea. I think the main topic of this book is it's really good to share. And the reason I think that, give you my three details, uh, the small dinosaur showed up, he shared with the small dinosaur, and the small dinosaur was happy. The medium dinosaur showed up, he shared with the medium dinosaur, the medium dinosaur was happy, and then the huge dinosaur showed up, even the huge dinosaur got some ice cream because Joe shared, and then that dinosaur was happy too. And then, I mean, that's three details right there, but I'm gonna go even farther. Ice cream ran out, and that's a scary moment because these dinosaurs showed up to eat the ice cream, and so he, he thought quickly. He turned it over, turned it into a drum, and then they all sang and danced, and were happy. They shared the music at the end. So, all right. So main topic, main idea, big idea here is that uh, sharing is good. And then my details, dinosaur one, dinosaur two, dinosaur three, all showed up. Joe shared with them all. So, okay. Anyways, when you guys are reading your books, see if you can think of what the author's big ideas, what the main topic is of the book. And then if you can talk about the details to someone you know, a parent, grandparent, friend, um, that'd be cool. So anyways, I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week.